Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Edini Has to Stop Apply. Currently here doing uh, readings for the month of September on the sign of Sagittarius. But before I get into it, let's clear out whew, the cards. Let's give you some cleansing energy, me some cleansing energy, clear out the energy from the last reading. Um, so, fire signs, as I was getting into your energy, um, I heard two player songs <laughs> going um, happening. And, you know, maybe that was just for the Leo reading, you know, because when I, you know, went into Aries reading, there wasn't much player energy, I feel. But there were some resentments toward players in the Leo reading. But uh, for you, it looks as though you want a new beginning, a new passionate beginning in something. Perhaps it's a sexual energy. Um, maybe a new passionate beginning in regards to uh, a, a, a situation that was abandoned, right? Could have been a sexual relationship that uh, was abandoned either by you or your person. Who knows? Let's uh, get into the energy here. One more. Five of Swords. So there's some mental conflict going on here. A tower moment that happens. So a sudden revelation, which sparks, you know, the Knight of Wands movement towards a passionate new beginning. Uh, a solid offer. You're one. So this there's a mental conflict that you know brings about a tower. Okay, and this tower. Uh, motivates you or give you the, um, the room to take inspired action on a new beginning, perhaps with an earth sign um, towards Capricorn or Virgo, um, which is going to, you know, be victorious. You know, you bring this is bringing about a truth and a lover's, you know, you're going after your true love, looks like here, Sagittarius. Wow, the high priestess could be, wow, and the ace of pentacles and the page of cups. So, wow. So this is a very um, spiritual uh, person, perhaps, that you're wanting to go after. And it's going to be, it's going to yield, um, looks like, some great rewards here. Um, which is, you know, the ace of pentacles is, you know, a pinch, a put the potential for... Um, you know, a windfall of abundance coming. There's a, the potential for a lot of greatness, a lot of security, a lot of uh, a great foundation to build off of, which is going to bring in, like you said, unexpected blessings, unexpected friendship, unexpected love. Right. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have six of swords. Right. The six of swords is that energy of moving on to calmer waters. And then we have the nine of pentacles, which is, you know, all about success and discipline. It could be the single card as well. Remember, again, there was a mental conflict that ended in a, a tower moment. So uh, who knows? Uh, but I do see the lover's card here. So doesn't look as though you're... Um, going to be single for long just looking so that you know once this tower hit and you walk away from uh, the tower and begin to rebuild your foundation you have someone in mind that you want to go that you want to build with you know because the next card is the a page it's a court card um, which represents a person so the bottom of the deck here, we have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth, right? That's the reason, that's perhaps the reason for this five of swords energy that ended up in a tower that's allowing you with the overall energy to begin to move on to calmer waters. The first card out is the relationships card. It says, I, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. And the reason why your energy is beginning with the five of swords is perhaps the person that you're around currently does not 
serve your higher good. And that's why a tower had to come in, which is freeing you to do exactly that, to attract those people who serve your highest good. The next card here is the friendship, right? That they say a, pa a passionate new beginning with someone new, a solid uh, commitment, because this is an earth sign. Earth energies are very stable, or very stable energies, right? So it says, I understand a friend is in my life for a reason. It says, dismiss thoughts that don't lead to the garden of infinite possibilities. You know, he did that. It says, pay close attention to your patterns and let go of those that are merely, merely reactions to life, right? You're no longer in that energy. It says, let go of the idea that you need to have anything other than happiness in your life. You're, you know, realizing that the, you know, the relationships or some relationships, some, some type of relationship in your life is not bringing you that happiness, right? It says you are royal, you are sovereign, honor this and let go of those who do that, who do not acknowledge it. And again, who do not serve your highest good. So this tower moment has happened. Um, you may feel guilty, but don't feel guilty for releasing um, any beliefs that no longer serve your soul's growth. You know, at one point, perhaps this relationship did serve your soul's growth and it was uh, for your highest good. Or maybe it never was. You just didn't see the uh, red flags. But whether or not it is, it's ending now or you have the power to end it now and to move on to calmer waters. Uh, and to embrace this new friendship, this new beginning uh, in this relationship perhaps will begin with as a friendship you know and it will grow to love is what it's looking like here um and then with the pride card it says i love myself and i see myself in everyone you know you want everyone to be happy but you have to follow your intuition you can't be you're not responsible for everyone else's happiness you know you it says you let go of the idea that you need to have anything other than happiness in your life and that should be the same for whomever you're with. You know, if you're not happy, there's no way that they can be happy too. You know, if you're not happy in the relationship, there's something going on here. So, um, so yeah, it's like you have here. You know, with the pride card. We have the intuition. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. You see yourself and perhaps in this high priestess energy. And that's the reason why you want to give this high priestess your pinnacle. She's very spiritual or he's very spiritual. And you see, you know, that this could be a passionate new beginning. One of, you know, a stable love, a loyal love, a um, wonderful new beginning here and uh, you want to bring it about so clarifying the five of swords um, with this deck that I have here we have if you're not too long I'll wait for you all my life but you understand with this five of swords energy um, whoever this person is that is perhaps holding on to you you know, it's you just have to let it go. Right? You have to release them even though they hold it on, you know, for dear life with the Five of Swords. So on the Five of Swords card, you have um, an angel energy holding three swords. And we know the Three of Swords is, um, and what I just turned off was a lecture. And the lecture is... Um, about sovereignty right reclaim your sovereignty reclaim your freedom right and this seemed like that there's a toxic person you know that is truly trying to hold on to you and you're trying to free yourself you're trying to move on to calmer waters you know you see this relationship not serving your highest good and um, and that it's not leading to a garden of infinite possibilities So there's some mental conflict going on here with this situation.
there's someone that you're wanting to move towards um, but there's you've been running right with this tower card coming down it says I'm longing for a part of myself that I'm running from but this tower has come down and you're no longer running or your person is no longer running you it could be you or your person I don't know um, and then we have the Knight of Wands here, which is, you know, again, that inspired movement to this new uh, relationship, this new energy, because, you know, the person that you're with, this high priestess, I don't feel like this is a new energy. I feel like this is someone that perhaps has been around already that you know of, but you were just in a previous connection that you couldn't um, truly be your complete self with this person as we have here don't wait for me my love stagnancy delays our union I will find you so you're having to deal with this previous relationship first clarifying the knight of, of wands we have I can't explain what I mean and even if I could I'm not sure you'll understand you know your situation is really di different and difficult but it's working itself out Okay, so with this friendship card, you know, the overall energy is connect with me and the stars tonight. So you and this person, you know, may be in separation physically, but in the 5D, you guys communicate with each other, whether you know it or not. Um, again, this is a new, um, you're ready to take a chance on a new, um, strong uh, offer and possibility, a new friendship. Wow. And like I said, this is someone that you knew you knew before, but you just given them, you know, the bare minimum breadcrumb in them possibly. But it says, I'm sorry for taking you and your given heart for granted. OK. And then with the Ace of Swords here, which is that triumph, a new revelation coming in, that enlightenment right underneath another enlightenment. You have the tower revelation in the you, which is a negative re re revelation. Right. But it uh, ended in ended up in freeing you. And then we have another revelation here with the Ace of Swords, which, you know, is more of a positive revelation, right? A gift from spirit to bring you into balance. And this card says being emotionally unavailable is starting to drain me. Exactly. You're ready to um, connect with this person again. Um, and then we have the Lover's card clarifying that is there is a reason this haven't manifested yet. And you're working on that, right? You're closing out a chapter in, in a previous relationship and you're ready to start one uh, with people who serve your highest good. And who else better to serve your, who better to serve your highest good than the high priestess? She's very spiritual. She's most definitely is, you know, the woman for the job. Um, and then we have here, please stop doubting our connection. Like I said, you guys may be in separation. This could be your high priestess here in this uh, single energy of the nine of pentacles. You know, beneath that we have the sun card, right? And then the eight of cups, you know, walking away to find your 10 of cups and the other lover's card. Remember, I don't know if I told you, but this deck that I'm using has about four different lover's card cards. And then underneath that is the nine of uh, nine of cups, uh, wish fulfillment. So um, you want to um, let this person know that internally you love them. The song that's playing now is Life Music um, by Stone Mecca. And let's see, let's turn it up and see what it's saying, what it's talking about. But as I as we wait for it to start up, the high priestess is clarified by my soul cries for you. Sagittarius, you know, know that you want this high priestess energy in your life. I think this is more of an instrumental. And I think the song, uh, the first words was like, well, this is just speaking about the love of music. And we all know that music is very spiritual. You know, the sounds, the different notes correlates to the different chakras and they're very healing just like the uh, high priestess card here and so again we have this new beginning with the ace of pentacles clarified by i just can't let you go um in this page of cups energy a new beginning a, a you know a new relationship coming in it's clarified by i send you sexual energy so um it's a very passionate um relationship here again i did start it out with saying that there was some like third party energy going on with the two songs that was playing um 
as I started your reading, which is, you know, the energy of, you know, that player energy. But it looks as though that you're walking away from that player energy to calmer waters and, you know, beginning to ready to start a new foundation with this high priestess. You're very in deep thought. Wow, look at that. And you're doing the healing here with the healing card. Um, and we know the high priestess is, you know, she doesn't talk much. She's silent. She's very mysterious. And it says here, your silence is killing me, right? Um, and this is probably how you treated her. You know, it says each lifetime, each dimension, I'm running and hiding. I'm shame, full of regret. I let you carry us on your own strength. I'm honored. You're honored by this high priestess strength. And you're ready to, to go get her and to claim her. You feel guilty for not, you know, um, for taking her given heart for granted. Because, you you know, maybe this person is younger than you because that, that's the card clarifying the page. She's younger than you, but you didn't realize the wisdom, you know. And even though uh, there may be an age difference. It's nine times out of ten, those younger energies, their souls are even older than the people who are older than them in the physical, if you understand what I'm saying. So though that, that person was young, she or he may have had a very old soul, you know. Um, and you're beginning to realize that hopefully you don't, you know, you know, take this energy, um, come to her with, you know, um, as just a sex thing, you know, because I do see the page of cups here, which is, you know, is a new beginning, but it could be immature love as well. You know, and this is underneath the, the Knight of Wands, which is, you know, that player energy, right? So spirit guys, this, this new love, is it gonna be a solid love or is it going to be a play play love? Is Sagittarius bringing some bullshit? To this high priestess no we got the ten of cups baby ten of cups true love deep love uh, a happiness that's going to help both of you guys to overcome crying over spilt milk judgment you know making that um final judgment ascending to the next level there's no turning back moving towards your destiny with the will of fortune here towards this queen of pentacles remember i said it could be an earth sign another earth an earth sign capricorn virgus virgo or taurus and bringing in that equal give and take and that balance all right so sagittarius that's what i have for you hope they helped in some way shape form or fashion if you like the reading please like share and subscribe to the channel um and, and here we go with um, a Shango car, uh, phone, um, song playing right now. Shango is the um, one of the male um, Orishas of like a war and fighting. He's like one of the warriors. So it's a fire energy. Very much so suitable for this reading as Sagittarius is a fire sign. So Shango may be one of your... Um, head orishas if you were into the ifa tradition uh, which is an ancient african tradition right so if you're uh, african american or you know whatever you want to claim as afro whatever um ifa may be uh, a, a tradition that you may want to study and look into right so again i love you all and until next time peace